video we're going to be going over the properties of 2D shapes and the property of 3D shapes, um, namely formulas. So for this circle, when we want to find out the area or perimeter, the area can be calculated by pi multiplied by the radius squared. And for a circle, the perimeter is called the circumference. So c equals pi d. d is for diameter. Diameter is the length across the circle. The radius is half of that. So 2 radius is equal to the diameter. For a rectangle, the area is xy and the perimeter is 2x plus 2y to take into account all four sides. For the square, the area is x squared, the perimeter 1, 2, 3, 4 is 4x. For a triangle, the area is the base times the height divided by 2. So the base of the triangle multiplied by the height of the triangle divided by 2. The perimeter is all of the sides added up, so A, B, C. For 3D shapes, we would want to find out the surface area and the volume. So the surface area of a sphere can be calculated by the equation 4 pi radius squared. The volume is 4 over 3 pi radius cubed. For a cuboid, the surface area, you take into account all the sides. So you have x times z for this face. And you have that 1, 2 times. So you can add a 2. Now if we take into account the sides, so you have yz and you have that on this face and the other face um, if you're just seeing this side. So you have all four of the column faces and you take into account the top and the bottom. So you have 2 times xy and that will be the surface area. For the volume it is xy multiplied by z. The surface area of a cube. So you take into account all the faces. A cube has six faces and all of the lengths are the same. So you have x squared for this face and you have it six times. So that's the surface area. The volume is x times x multiplied by x, so x cubed. Surface area for a prism. This takes into account the base times the height, so the height of the, the prism. Plus, this also takes into account the slanted side, um, which is this value. You can work out this value through the Pythagoras theorem if you drew a line here and use the hypotenuse adjacent and opposite uh, to calculate this, given what you have on the values, plus so you label the sides so you can understand which numbers you need to add and multiply. For volume, it is half times this times length times height. For a cylinder, the surface area is, if you take into account the top circle, bottom circle, and then this sheet that almost goes around it. So you have 2 pi r squared for the top and the bottom, and then you need the diameter, which is equivalent to 2r. So to find that, it's 2 pi r h, where h is the height. 
for the volume. It equals to pi r squared, which is a, one of those, and then you multiply by the height. For a cone, the surface area is equivalent to pi r plus h, h squared plus r squared. An equivalent formula can be used where it takes into account of the slanted side. But um, if you wanted to use that, that's fine. But this is incorporating Pythagoras' theorem to have it in terms of the radius and the height. For a square base pyramid, the surface area is equivalent to 2. So B is the sides of the square, and the S is the slanted height, which you can calculate through Pythagoras. The volume is 1 over 3 b squared h. So it's 1 over 3 times the area of the base times the height. And that's it.